On the UD factor, <laughs> we have empowered you with information on the process of IVF. We've also talked on surrogacy. We've empowered you with information on sperm and egg donation. Today, we're going to be talking about adoption. If IVF doesn't work, surrogacy doesn't work, I believe adoption should work. There are so many motherless children who need people to take care of them. I'll tell you a story. My daughter passed a couple of months ago, and when I was trying to bring my grandson to understand, as we walked in into where the, uh, my daughter was lying in state, his mom, and the first thing he says to me, so my mom is gone, I said yes, so who will take care of me? And I said to him, that's why I'm here. There's so many motherless children who need people to take care of them. So today we're going to be talking about the process of adoption. And my guest is Mr. Lukman Oluwaton Yikutun. He's the head of adoption and foster services, Lagos State Minister of Youth and Social Development. You're welcome. Sir. Good evening. Thank you very much yeah. for coming. Thank you. We'll see you after this time out. On this program, we've talked about IVF, the process. We've talked about surrogacy. And today, we want to talk about adoption and foster. We know that there are so many motherless children who need people to take care of them. And that's why I had the example. My, my daughter passed a couple of months back. And uh, while she was lying in state, I took my grandson so that he'll know that the mom has passed. And the first thing he says to me, so who will take care of me? It made me realize how vulnerable children who've lost their mothers feel. So today you're going to empower us with information on the process of adopting a child or being a foster parent in Lagos. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What is adoption and why is adoption important? Um, adoption, we will look at it biblically. Every one of us, we are adopted children of God. Okay. So, and in the context of law, um, adoption simply means acquiring parental right of a child through legal means to a suitable person. And in Lagos State, adoption is being guided by the Children's Child Right Law, 2015. Um, Section 115 of the Child Right Law stipulates that uh, adoption services should be established by the states. So the process and procedure of adoption in Lagos State is being empowered and derived from this statute. So, and according to that law, there are processes that needs to be followed before any suitable individual could become adopted parents. Okay. Um, the first step in adoption in Lagos State, as stipulated by the law, is that uh, an intent must be shown by individuals who are interested in adopting in Lagos State by writing an application to the ministry, to the office of the permanent secretary, upon which which That is permanent secretary, youth... Ministry of Youth and Social Development. Blockating okay. allows her. Okay. Once the application is received by the office of the permanent secretary, the adoption unit will process and invite candidates or applicants for what we call a mandatory pre-counseling section. Okay. The mandatory pre-counseling section is um, to educate the applicant about the process of adoption in the states and knows that um, get information and be prepared for the project. We see adoption as a project in Lagos State okay. because it has to go through a series of stages and we see those um, vulnerable children that we want to give out as being special. So we have to be very careful about who we place these children into their care. And we have to be very mindful of the individual who wants to have these children. So they are very special children to us. Okay. 
somebody watching now would say, I've been wanting to adopt a child, but I don't know the process. Talk us through the step-by-step -step process until the adoption. So you start by having the intent and filling the form. Yes. Um, we call it 13 simplified stage of adoption service. 13? Yes. <laughs> it's a simplified stage. Okay. 13 simplified stage. How long does it take? Um, the child's right law, schedule 5, stipulate that an adoption order cannot be made unless the adoption complete 12 calendar months. So invariably, adoption process take a minimum of one year, according to the law. Okay, now talk us through the process. So the first stage, or the first step in adopting in Lagos State is submission of your application form, your application, application letter, okay. to the Office of the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Social Development. After the application has been received, you will be invited, you will wait for our call, inviting you to a mandatory pre-counseling section. At the pre-counseling section, you'll be educated about the adoption process in the state. At that section, we have um, different sections. We have the medical, we have the legal, and we have the psychological evaluation section. So all these sections, the applicants are taking through it to understand the legal implication of adoption. Okay the medical challenges or the medical need of an adopter. Uh, psychologically, you need to be prepared. It's not that you just want to adopt. <laughs> you yeah. must be prepared psychologically because you're having a child, you don't even know the background. And in this part of the world, you know, adoption is not, uh, it's not part of our culture. <laughs> it's something that is just revolving and people are now just accepting it. So we must be able to prepare you for that challenge you might be meeting along your line. Um, after the mandatory pre counseling section, you will be interviewed by our probation officers, our social workers. Hold the thought, hold the thought. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. You're welcome back. If you're just joining us, we have Mr. Lukman Oluwatui Kutun, the head of Adoption and Foster Services, Lagos State. He is empowering us with information on the adoption process in Lagos State. Yes. After inviting you for the interview, at that point, we'll be able to determine your suitability of being an eligible applicant. Because are, there, have, are there criteria you look for in this interview? What are those things that you look for? Yes, there are criteria. You must be gainfully employed. Okay. You must be medically fit. And you must be of sound mind before you can adopt in Lagos State. Okay. So after the interview, you'll be given a set of form to fill because as I then we've been able to ascertain you to some certain level. That you're fit. You're fi that you're fit. There's still going to be a background check about you. Okay. So filling the form and releasing of requirement to you. At that stage, that's the fourth stage. When you fill the form, we give you the set of requirements, requirement for adoption in the States. We give it to you. Um, one of the requirements is that we, we will be requiring you to, to provide us with two uh, copies of your birth certificates. If you are married, copies of your marriage certificates. We give you a referral letter to um, a government hospital to do a medical evaluation. We must be able to give us a proof of employment that you are gainfully employed yes. and a letter from your employer that you are still in that employment. What if I'm a business person? Yes, you are qualified. You must be able to give us an evidence of that. Probably certificate of registration with CAC or something to show that you are in a gainful employment. Okay. So after which you give us, um, you submit um, utility bills, we must be resident in Lagos. After submission of all these documents, we do what we call a background check. We must verify some of the claim because Nigerians are very smart. <laughs> um, we, 
we have not advanced to the level we just, you know, get our data in place. So we have to do manual background check, check on every applicant. <laughs> Once that is com completed, we assign a social worker to come into your home where you're taking the child to, to see that whether the home is child friendly. A report will be generated based on the investigation and the findings about you. And after the conclusion of the home assessment, you will be made to, to pay an administrative fee. You know, we use a single treasury account uh, in the yes, state now. Yes. So you pay directly <laughs> to, 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 to the treasury. <laughs> is, is it possible to know how much it is? Yeah. Presently, you pay an administrative fee of 80000 Okay. To the treasury? To the treasury of okay. the state. Mm -hmm. Upon completion of all this, you will be presented before what we call an adoption panel committee. The committee comprises of members from the, all stakeholders all professionals in adoption services. We have member of the judiciary as a member of that panel. We have the police. We have the social worker. And the chairman of that panel is always the honorable commissioner for youth and social development. Okay. So at that panel, the panel will be examining you and your officer that has presented the reports to see that the report they've presented actually tallies with the individual or the applicants. So once that is done and the panel find you fit to adopt in the state, an approval letter will be issued to you. The approval letter, upon issuance of the approval letter, yes. you'll also be given what we call list of approved orphanage home. Okay. In the state as of today, we have 36 approved orphanage homes. We have more than 36 orphanage homes in the state. Okay. We have other homes, rehabilitation, and other privates that are approved by the state. But we have 36 for the purpose of adoption. adoption. Okay. You'll be given the list so that you don't just run into any home <laughs> that is illegal or something. Yes. So once you are able to identify a child from any of these registered homes, yes. What we do in Lagos is parent by choice. We don't sit down in our office and tell you you are matching a child for you. Okay. You go all around yourself, visit any of the orphanage, born with, that child, with a particular child of your interest. So once a child of your interest is found and the home is comfortable with you, the child will be released to you through the family courts for a probationary period to be determined by the court. Minimum of one month not exceeding three months. And in this one month, does the social worker keep going? Does he? Of course. Does he... That's part of the bonding process. Okay. A social worker will have to visit you and see how the child is bonding with you. If you have issues, you can revert back to us. We advise, we cancel. In a situation where we notice the bonding is not successful, we advise you to return the child. Yes. We've had a couple of cases that bonding is not successful. When the bonding is not successful and they return the child, are they allowed to go to, back to the orphanage and probably find another child? Well, we must be able to ascertain reason why, okay. why the bonding was not successful. Okay. At the initial stage, you must have done psychiatric evaluation. Okay. But along the line, something must have happened to you. <laughs> okay. Because approval has been given to you does not mean we should relent. That's the essence of the bonding. So if we have issue with that, you know, we have to stop the child because those children are very precious to us. So once a bonding field and it is established probably as a result of the fact that the, 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 the bonding failure is from the applicants, we look at what exactly is the problem. If it's a psychological problem, we try to help the applicant go through, you know, treatments. If it's just the fact that the child does not want to settle down in that environment, okay. we will draw the child and see if we can have other match or other place for the child to you, go. Uh, and in most cases, we don't return the child to that particular orphanage. Oh. Why? Because um, stigma. Of having gone out and coming coming back. back, unlike a child going out for home leave, 
coming back, you know, having good stories to, to say about the parents. So once the bonding is successful, we move to the next stage. Now the next stage is the final stage of adoption, which is legalization. The legalization is done at the family courts and the probation officer, which is a social worker, is expected to present the family before the court and present a report to the court based on their finding during the bonding yes. period. So after so, the bonding period, you can now take your child. After, after, the, the, after the legalization, the child automatically becomes yours. Hold the thought. Hold the thought. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are talking adoption today. You know the process of IVF surrogacy, and today we're talking about adoption, the process. So when the child goes home, when the legal framework has been concluded, how often does the social worker, how often will she keep, he or she, keep going to visit the child? Well, it's a mandatory requirement by the law. Yes that every child adopted in Lagos State must be monitored until the child is 18 years. So if the child so, is two years, it's yeah. a long monitoring. Well, the monitoring is a, is a friendly visit. It does not have to be formal. Okay. Sometimes a family might send in reports to the office and we just try to evaluate the report and maybe once or twice in a year, phone call, visits, Friendly visit, just to be sure that the child is okay. Isn't doing well. And there is no form of abuse. Okay. People abandon children on the streets. If, you, if one comes across a child abandoned in the streets, what are we to do? Do we take, take for instance, somebody who doesn't have a child? She'll be too glad to just take the child, take the child home and bring up the child as hers. <laughs> Uh, what is the legal thing or the right thing to do when you find an abandoned child on the road? Yeah, the, 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 the procedure is simple when you find a child abandoned. The first point of call is to get to the nearest police station, okay. make a report, and the police get in touch with a child protection unit. We have a child protection unit that works with the police, specialized, we have um, specialized police units. But abandon of babies or children could be done anywhere, because we only have two specialized police units in the state. That is Alakara and Adeni Jadele. But we have gender units that could support, pending the time they will refer the matter to the, any of these two units. Once the matter has been referred to any of these specialized units, they get in touch with immediately they get in touch with the child protection unit who does placement of the child to any of the approved orphanage homes. Okay, okay. And if the person who found the child, the person who found the child wants to adopt the child, are the measures very stringent? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> you follow the same process? Well, we don't encourage um, founder's keeper. Why would we encourage founders keeper is that Nigerians are crafty. <laughs> they could arrange it. True. Very true. They could arrange it. And even if they don't arrange, the person that abandoned a child somewhere may, start, may, may, may be somewhere monitoring. watching or monitoring where the child is going. And at the long run, it comes to you and starts disturbing you and starts embarrassing you. So we don't encourage um, founders keeper. So what we do is we encourage you to be on the list, you apply and go through the normal process. Per adventure, you go to the orphanage home and you see that same child and you well, like the same child. <laughs> it's your luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's so, much, there's so many baby factories springing up everywhere. What is your ministry doing? This is just a digression. What is your ministry doing about the baby factories and the babies recovered from those places? Um, well, we are really on top of it, yes. and we try as we work with the police, and we try as much as possible to do our investigation well, and we encourage the public to give us information about this. All approved orphanage home in the state has a signpost 
that has an approval of the state on it. There is no orphanage that is approved by the state that is not free for adoption. So, and according to the law, mm -hmm. there are categories of homes. But homes that are specialized in um, um, keeping of abandoned children or vulnerable children, the orphanages, they are 36 in number. So we have other homes, we have other special homes, we have rehabilitation centers and all that. So those, any of these 36 can, are free to give out children for adoption. Free in the sense that they can't give out a child for adoption on their own without the approval okay. of the state. So they must first come to the ministry. The applicant they must first come, come to, to the, the ministry. ministry. And we have a very good working relationship with most of the orphanages because we monitor, we train, and we collaborate with them on a day-to-day basis. We give them technical support. Let's talk about foster care now. Uh, it's different from, because I know that abroad, most people put their children in foster care. What is foster care in Nigeria, in Lagos State? Well, foster care or fostering in the States yes. has not seriously been embraced. Yes. We're trying to fashion out um, a better way of fostering services in the state. Presently, we have very fewer number of people applying for fostering. That's one of the um, beautiful thing about this pre-counseling section. Yes. There are some who would discover during the pre-counseling and the interview section that they are not qualified to adopt. So we place them, we advise and encourage them to foster a child. Okay, now for, for viewers, what is the difference between foster care and adoption. adoption. Yes. Adoption is a permanent placement of a child into the care of a suitable person. While fostering is a temporary placement. Adoption, once it has been legalized, the child automatically becomes yours. But once the fostering order is granted, the child is not totally yours. You are just keeping the child for the state. So that's the difference. So who bears the responsibility of schooling, of uh, schooling, of care? Of the foster child. Yes. Well, like I said, you know, we are working our foster, fostering um, services. Yeah. Presently, the old, we are still in the old fashion. Okay. <laughs> where the foster parents are the ones taking, are care. The one taking care of. We've seen that and we want to move with a global um, trend. So we're seriously working on fo our fostering services. When the child is with the foster care, in foster care, how long does it take before you take the child from them? Or are they allowed to keep the child as long as that understanding is there that it's foster care? Yes, they're allowed to keep the child as long as the understanding is there. As long as, you see, why we do fostering here in this part of the world yes. is that they are pending issue on that child. That is why we recommend some children for fostering. Okay. Okay, maybe the parents The will parents come. are somewhere. They may come back and all that. That is why it's a temporary placement. And unfortunately, you see, we keep revolving and we keep amending our law. The present child's right law does not make provision for duration where you can keep a child. Yes. We've noticed that. We've noticed the gap. Okay. And we're working on it. Okay. In our next review, some of those things will be. So would you encourage women who can have children who um, have tried all other means and it's not successful, would you encourage them to adopt a child? Uh, I think in economics, the central bank is the last resort. <laughs> Adoption is the last resort for having a peace of mind, having a, a beautiful family. Thank you very much, Mr. Cotton. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Anybody can get pregnant and have a child, but it's the care that you give the child from the day the child is born until the child can take care of his or herself. That is what makes you a mother, as far as I'm concerned. There's so many vulnerable children out there who need a home, who need someone to call mom. Well, have you tried IVF? Have you tried surrogacy? Or maybe you just don't want to try all that. But there's a child out there who would make you happy. There's a child out there who would fill the void. There's a child out there who yearns to be hugged. There's a child out there 
who yearns to tell someone I love you. So I encourage men, women, to go adopt a child and make a home, a beautiful home for a child. And God will bless you. You know, my, my grandson, when my daughter died, what he said to me, who will take care of me? And that made me realize how vulnerable motherless children are. Until I come your way another time, my name is Yudi. This is my factor. Goodbye. God bless. And see you again next week.